Whether or not you consider yourself a fan of Bad Baby, the explicit star who rose to fame from her Dr. Phil appearance, we officially can't deny she's made herself super successful. One of the richest teenagers on the planet, Danielle Bad Baby Bergoli, is now a multimillionaire and has recently dropped $6.1 million for a mansion in Boca Raton, Florida, reportedly in an all cash deal. The contemporary spread spans over 9,000 square feet with monochrome details inside and features like a massive pool and two stories guest house. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Danielle Bergoli, known as Bad Baby, is a rapper, internet star and more who became infamous for her appearance on the Dr. Phil show in 2016 for her phrase, cash me outside, how about that? Which became a viral video meme and phrase. These days, she's only 19, but she managed to parlay that viral moment into lasting fame, or at least for now, becoming a chart-topping rapper and expanding into a reality show, makeup brand, and more. All of this, combined with her quick success on the platform OnlyFans, has made Danielle a multimillionaire as well, with a personal net worth believed by some to be well into the eight-figure range. This wealthy teenager reportedly leases a mansion in Los Angeles, but considering she is a Florida native, she makes sure to spend at least half of the year in Boca Raton in order to remain a resident. Not to mention, all of Danielle's Lux cars, including two brand new Bentleys, are purposely registered in Florida. You know, because of taxes. It's not surprising that the young celeb decided to put down roots in Boca Raton too, with the brand new modern mansion she just bought there, costing her over six million dollars. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're checking out the new home of Bad Baby. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Just for a little bit of background, we know that Danielle grew up in Florida as well and got swept up in the wrong crowd prior to that infamous Dr. Phil appearance. Her mother Barb actually had a very similar upbringing as her own, except she grew up in Mill Basin, Brooklyn, in an old Italian neighborhood near Sheepshead Bay. Barb had explained about her childhood neighborhood. Right next door to Mill Basin was million dollar homes. Kids in Mill Basin were thieves. They were troublemakers. They were drug addicts gravitate towards who you gravitate towards. And because she and her daughter had similar experiences, that seems to be why she's forgiven Danielle's unruly behavior from the past so many times. I mean, not to mention now that in the end, she ended up turning that into fame and success. Well, Danielle's mother moved to Florida to work for a bank way back when, where she met Danielle's father, who was a sheriff. And Danielle was born in 2003 in Boynton. This area was a coastal suburb 15 miles from West Palm Beach, full of high rises and subdivisions. Barb would separate from Danielle's father not long after this, and he wasn't in the picture for long as well. So it was just Danielle and her mom. Barb purchased a home in a nice area of Boynton Beach where Danielle would live out most of her childhood, but since it was just the two of them, it certainly wasn't always problem free. Even though these days Danielle spends much of her time in Los Angeles, she ultimately decided to keep her roots in her native Florida. And we're gonna take a look at exactly where she just bought. Just last month, reports show that Bad Baby dropped $6.1 million for a mega mansion located in Palm Beach County, Florida, and records reveal the rapper doesn't have a mortgage on the property. She seemingly paid up front with her mother Barb Bergoli as the trustee. Her contemporary crib is in a guard gated community in the exclusive town of Boca Raton, which is known for its parks, jazz, golf course, and wealthy residents. There's the large oceanfront Red Reef Park boasting trails, a butterfly garden, and sea turtle sanctuary, as well as downtown, the Boca Raton Museum of Arts. If you're wondering how Danielle could afford this multi million dollar mansion, in a cash deal, well, she did have some help along the way to her fortune. Her manager played a huge part in landing her lucrative deal with Atlantic Records, although she and the label have since parted ways. While social media, on the other hand, well, that made Bad Baby popular with the Gen Zs, earning millions in brand deals with huge retailers. She's also launched her own indie music label since. However, the main source of Bad Baby's income is also pretty controversial, as on her 18th birthday, she immediately joined OnlyFans. 
the paid subscription platform that's notorious for its scandalous content. While Danielle reportedly earned $1 million in her first six hours on the site, breaking a new record that came along with critics. And no doubt these millions have been put towards her brand new digs. Danielle's mansion is situated on two acres of land with green rolling lawns and palm trees all over. The seller was NFL free agent Jason Pierre Paul, who purchased the home in 2017 for $2.3 million and gave the mansion a massive modern renovation, which was formerly built in the 1980s. These days, Bad Baby's estate is contemporary and new in its style, boasting 9,288 square feet of space, along with seven bedrooms and seven bathrooms inside. The interiors sport monochrome colored living spaces, all of which is decked out in sparkling shades of grays and silvers for a stylish look. Walking up to the home or driving, there's a sprawling motor court with room for plenty of cars and a large five car garage, perfect for Danielle's car collection, which includes five luxury whips, two of which are Bentleys. There are a handful of high-end touches here like an abundance of porcelain tiles, high-tech lighting, and a Sonos smart home system. The many bright white living spaces include a sparkling kitchen with top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances and casual eating table. There's another dining room with walls of glass sliders for an easy indoor-outdoor flow and a spacious living room that looks out to the pool. Danielle's master suite is as impressive as you might expect with hardwood flooring underneath as well as its own sitting area. There's also a chic ensuite bath with plenty of marble and massive glass shower, as well as a boutique sized walk-in closet fit for a queen with custom shelving. Bonus rooms inside her mansion include a modern office with a mounted TV flooded with natural light. There's even a two-story guest house on the property with its very own full kitchen and a spacious backyard with a resort-style swimming pool and spa, as well as multiple terraces and patios to lounge up in the Florida sun. As mentioned, Danielle does lead to mansion in LA too, but spends at least half of the year in Florida and has said she was not about to pay these California taxes. Well, there you have it guys. That is going to wrap up our Danielle Bergoli, aka Bad Baby House Tour. You guys had been requesting this one, so finally we were able to look at her brand new mansion in Boca Raton, Florida. What did you like best about her contemporary spread in the Sunshine State? I am gonna have to go with the resort style pool. Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts on Danielle's property down in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.